All right, lesson number three, finding the right cue. Now most of us normal people go out, buy a cue that we like, play a few shots, whether you miss or whether you don't miss, uh, we don't just blame it on the cue. We actually get better uh, and work on all our shots. Anything that we've missed or got stuck on, we uh, basically just practice. We don't play shots and go, all right, cue's missed, better sack it, buy another one. So what, what us normal people do is exactly that. We buy cues, we like them, we play with them, we like it, we get better. Other players, other players, or one other player, can never find the cue that he likes until a certain high profile player wins the cue in a raffle and sends it to him. He doesn't know that yet, but the cue's worth about 100 bucks. Um, and this guy is over the moon, over the moon, that he's got this cue now. He thinks that it's going to be able to pop balls, position, safety, everything, all in one. But, as we all know, it's not just the player, it's not just the cue, but it's what you have up here. So, I will be this certain someone when he picks up a cue, he'll go, oh yeah, nice cue, arrows, grains pointing this way, tips all good, butts all good, let's play a few shots. All right, get down and smash the pack. Ball spread everywhere. So right now we know that this cue is a good breaking cue. Hasn't missed the pot yet either. Don't know about its safety, don't know about its recovery shots, but let's find out. So we have a quick look at the table. We go, oh yeah, let's go reds. We'll go reds for a bit of fun. Get down, knock some balls in. Oh, you know what? There's a bit of dodginess over there. So already the cue's actually letting us down. So probably it wasn't a good break because I didn't even know whether we can run the rack. But let's give it a go, shall we? Let's try and run this rack on reds. On reds. Let's see how good this cue is. Nah, out of position, all over. So basically, let's get rid of this cue. Let's get another cue. Start again. And at the end of the day, this person will never ever find a cue ever in his life. Except when a certain high profile player sends him a cue, he thinks that it's going to be able to pop balls forever, for days. Pop balls for days. Safety for days. Position for days. It's not going to happen, mate. Not going to happen. You're dreaming. You're going to get down in a club. You're going to play someone. You're going to start to pop balls, feeling really good, and then all of a sudden, it's going to happen. That's right. It's going to happen. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get down on a shot. You're going to miss it. And it all starts all over again. Finding a new cue. That's right, a new cue. So, lesson to be learned here. If you like a cue, you practice your butt off with it to get better. Because that is the only way you're gonna find a new cue for yourself is to practice your butt out. That's it. Till next time, till next time, till next time.